Hey everybody, it's Miss Kennedy. I'm back to teach you about something called gene expression. So we're going to start with this adorable picture of my cat because I think this is the funniest thing. It always makes me laugh and hopefully it makes you guys laugh. This is my little cat when he was really, really tiny, just sleeping, which is probably his favorite thing to do. Okay, so what you should know up to now, you should know about DNA, mRNA, or RNA. You should know protein synthesis. You should know codons that are just three bases of mRNA. You should know that amino acids are what codons code for. So when you go on that codon chart, you're finding amino acids that match with codons. Many amino acids make up a protein. And then yesterday stuff was all about mutations. So mutations change your DNA based on some sort of mistake. Um, in the DNA or uh, something in the environment like Spider-Man with the radioactive spider. Uh, there are point mutations which just substitute um, one base for another and they might not be that harmful to the gene. Um, and there are frame shift mutations like a deletion or an insertion that shift the entire sequence of DNA and can damage the protein completely and make it not work. So that's what you should know up to right now. If not, go check out my old videos and message me with questions. So I want to start with these two rabbits. One is named Demi and the other one's name is Honey. I know I'm kind of blocking Honey a little bit, but this is what they looked like before. This is Honey and Demi. They were all brown and then overnight they changed and the girl on YouTube was like freaking out about it, but they got really dark ears and really dark faces. And so she was like, I had no idea why this happened to her bunnies, but the answer is biological and it's gene expression. So gene expression is just the physical trait that's expressed as a result of a DNA sequence. So for Honey and Demi, they had the gene for, sorry, they had the gene for brown fur. That was the gene that was being expressed in their before picture, okay? Um, and a gene, the way it can be expressed, can be influenced by environmental conditions. So the lady realized that they spent the night over and outside and it was really cold and that caused the gene that made them brown to kind of change and it made them darker in that process. So the genes can change based on your environment. Okay, so that's gene expression, a physical trait that's expressed based on your DNA. And the way that gene is expressed can be influenced by environmental conditions. So this is kind of, we're building on the same idea and I'm always gonna come back to this picture. So we have DNA gets transcribed into RNA. The RNA is then translated into amino acids. Those amino acids make this big, beautiful protein, and that protein will then code for the color of your eyes, let's say. That's the gene that this protein will kind of code for or express. So it's expressing this beautiful blue eye color. But let's say something kind of influences this protein or changes it from the environment. So maybe something like really, really cold temperatures or really, really warm temperatures influences this, this protein, and then the gene that is kind of expressed is maybe a darker eye color. So it's the same gene that codes for your eye color, but based on the environment, it can change your actual physical trait. So a real life example of this is these Arctic foxes. So the gene for fur color, which is white here, is changed when the temperature changes. So in the winter, they had these nice white colored fur. That's the gene that's being coded for is that white fur. When it warms up in the summer, the gene kind of changes and then expresses in a more like brown, yellowish color. So the gene changes as temperature changes, which is what I just went over, but this is a real life example. Um, to help you. So there are many types of environmental factors that can influence gene expression. Your diet can change how your genes are, are expressed. Temperature, like we saw with Demi and Honey and the Arctic foxes. The amount of light you get, so the amount of sunlight, and that's big with plants. Uh, oxygen levels, that's big with animals that live in the ocean and don't have as much access to oxygen. Um, and drugs and chemicals can also influence how your genes are expressed. So just remember that gene expression is the physical trait that is expressed as a result of your DNA sequence. All your DNA codes for specific genes. Those genes are the physical things that you can see like your hair, your eye, eye color, all that stuff. Um, and the way that the gene is expressed can be influenced by your environment. Things like the light, the temperature, your diet, the drugs and chemicals you're exposed to. All those things can change your genes, change your hair color, change your eye color, change your fur color, things like that. So that is it for gene expression. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.